understanding LAN switches. Now, using bridges to separate the network may make you think that devices on different VLANs can't communicate with each other. In a sense, that is true because the devices aren't on the same Layer 2 network and they can't communicate with each other directly at Layer 2. However, traffic destined for a device outside one VLAN can be forwarded to a different VLAN by a Layer 3 router attached to both VLANs or by the internal inter-VLAN routing feature of an EX series switch. Okay, so all of the ports on the switch establish their own broadcast domain. However, when broadcast frames containing ARPs or multicast traffic arrive, the switch floods the frames to all other ports. Unfortunately, this makes LAN switching not much better than a repeater, a device that duplicates bits, or bridge when it comes to dealing with broadcast and multicast traffic, traffic sent to multiple destinations. But there is an improvement because broadcast traffic cannot cause collisions that would force retransmissions. To overcome this problem, a LAN switch can allow multiple ports to be assigned to a broadcast domain. The broadcast domains on a LAN switch are configurable, and each floods broadcast and multicast traffic only within its own domain. In fact, it is not possible for any frame to cross the boundary of a broadcast domain. When LAN switches define multiple broadcast domains, they create virtual LANs, VLANs. A VLAN defines membership to a LAN logically, through configuration, not physically by sharing media or devices. 